Well, hello. I am at Goodwill. Surprise, surprise. All right, these shelves seem to be pretty packed. Oh, I see chickens. Come down here and look at this little Temptations, which is $7.99. I do like this butter dish though. This is an older pressed glass butter or cheese dish for $4.99. That's got a great look too. hello I am at Goodwill surprise surprise actually I have been doing a little bit different in the last few videos so maybe it is a surprise that I'm back at Goodwill uh, I am out at a Goodwill that is normally packed to the brims on the shelves and I always come away with a full cart so this will be a real indicator if this is just a, a nationwide Goodwill shortage thing or it's individual stores as you saw in my last video uh, the independent thrift store that I went to says that their donations are just booming and they're not too far from this Goodwill. So let's go in and see what this Goodwill has to behold in the way of things that we can turn around and sell for really good profits. I mean, there's lots of stuff we can sell, but what we want, really good profits. So let's get in there and see what we can find. Let's get shop done. All right, the carts are pretty well used already today, which is our lucky one. Let's go for this one right here. All right, these shelves seem to be pretty packed. So let's see how the pricing is and what we can find. I'm starting in the metals because I've done really, really good in the metals at this store. So it's a logical place for me to start Gentleman and a scholar. Ah, oh, so far, so far, nothing. Well, that's okay. We have time. And lots of shelves. Looking for a name on these. I don't see one. A little bit heavy. They got kind of like a mid-century kind of vibe going, but no name. Too much time for me to look those up, so... I will pass and that's okay even if they're worth a lot of money I'm okay with that I'm okay with somebody else making that money I'm looking for things that I can very very easily look up find their values and get them sold that's the goal today all right I turned around to the wood shelves it's $2.99 it's just kind of a generic little dog there $2.99 for the little dog Let's see, those are interesting. I don't think they're meant to really be bookends. No, they sat on something. Orange is the 50% off color. So I will pick those up because those are just interesting enough to figure out more about. There's a lot of stuff on these wood shelves, a lot of stuff. So it looks like this store is doing Okay, now the thing about this store too, it's it's like as far as you can get out of Vegas where there's a, a Goodwill before you hit like nothing. So I imagine they get a lot of stuff that the other Goodwills kind of have to all share it because we have so many Goodwills here in Las Vegas, which I think is another problem. We just have, I, I dare I say, too many Goodwills uh, to warrant the donations being split up and then we also have the bins and then we also have like a boutique he's kind of cute for 3 dollars his little hat is a little broken he's like a construction guy and you know with father's day around the corner i think i'm gonna get this and put it in the booth oh i see chickens oh they're resin i thought they were wood they're not wood and they are will ray studio all right, $3.99 for the Will Ray Studio chickens. Let's see what this says. Please remove your shoes. I remember to do that about half of the time in my house. I try. I do try. All right, I'm trying to get to this box. Here we go. It's 
pretty scratched up, but it is old and it is cedar. Look at that, it is cedar. And all that dovetail construction, but it is $12.99. If it wasn't so scratched up, I wouldn't mind paying that, but um, condition, I'd have to put some work into it to bring maximum amount of money on it. So that is the reason I will pass it by come down here and look at this little Temptations, which is $7.99, $7.99. I don't, I really don't like to pay that much on the Temptations because they only sell for like 20 to 25 for the most part. Um, and they're super heavy for shipping and I sit on them sometimes for a while. So I like to pay less. I, I like to be in like the five, $5 range on Temptations. I see a little giraffe. I thought he was metal at first. He's not. He's he's like a resin. Momentum Brands for a dollar forty-nine. I will grab him. Something about animals is that uh, they sell because of the emotion attached to them. I mean, we've all got our favorite animals. Some people really love dachshunds, and this is a really, really, really fun one. For $1.99. So uh, we are going to grab him for sure. And then we're going to look at this little uh, faux cinnabar rabbit. Ooh, he's got some weight to him, actually. He almost feels like stone for $3.99. You know what? I'm going to take a chance on him too. But yeah, animals, animals are just one of those things that bring people some peaceful feelings, some joy feelings. People collect different animals. I collect animals. I totally get it. Eat, cook, vino. <laughs> Not necessarily in that order. Got a Crawford Clowns. Let me write, $6. It's kind of dirty. Kind of dirty. Relax. What is this? Not, I think it's just a an artistic looking pair, maybe, kind of. Ooh, look at you, little. Oh darn it! I was gonna say a little fishy tray, but uh, it's resin and it is broken. That is too bad. That's what happens when you're made in China, though, and you're made of resin and you're not really super high quality. Ooh, what do we got here? We have some little hobby horse things that probably were some kind of a crafting thing. They were $3 each originally, and it is uh, $4.99 for the whole bag full. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, eight. There's at least eight of them in there. Yeah, we'll grab those. All right, this is an interesting little vase with the little birds on it. It's $9.99 though. Machu Picchu? Hmm, I'm not sure we can pay $10 for that. Well, we will leave it. We got some birds. If Rachel was with me, she'd be grabbing the birds. But we are not going to grab the birds. I do like this butter dish though. This is an older pressed glass butter or cheese dish for $4.99. That's got a great look to it. I'm going to grab it. All right, we have a little staircase that's intriguing. Oh, look at that. Department 56. For $2.99, we're going to grab the staircase. Right behind it is... Ah, it fooled me. I thought it was a Blue Sky Clayworks. It is not. I do like this, though. It's only three bucks. Ah, uh, it's a candle holder there. Oops, I'm a little, little club up close and personal there. It's a candle holder, $3. I love it. I'm going to take it. And I just spotted another piece of the Department 56 fencing, and this one's $3, so we'll grab that too. And what I will probably do is sell those together. This is a 2005 Wells Fargo bank, $4. Hmm. Usually the Wells Fargo stuff does pretty good. I'm going to grab that too. All right. What else? That's from Thailand. 
Dolls, dolls, dolls. I look at the dolls, but not super close. I'm looking just for signs of some super old dolls, which I don't, I don't see any. This is recycled glass. This is a really big, heavy tray. Um, not something I would really want to ship. Good price, $5. But uh, we are not going to pick that up. And then there is a standby. I was trying to get that back on the shelf without it sliding. We've got a biscuit jar. It's missing its handle. And they're asking $10 on that. What is this? Dia de los Muertos. Day of the Dead. There's one, two, three. One, two, three, four. There's four figurines in there. Hmm, they do want $10 on those. Distributed by John, no. Distributed by MSPCI. There it is. What to do, what to do, what to do. I may have to look up and see how much I could get for these. They do have some beautiful pieces of crystal. This is lead crystal. It's still got its original tag on there. I'm trying to see if it says made in Western Germany. So it's Western German crystal for $8. This is pressed glass. These are all pressed glass. Pressed glass. All right. Let's see what we got. Oh, we have a raccoon sitting on a little, or is it a cat? Oh, I think it's a cat with his ears munched. Yeah, it was a Lou Rankin. Unfortunately, with broken ears, that is not going to be worth a whole lot. Cannot have broken ears in order to sell for the right amount of money that a reseller needs. Here is a little elephant candle. I would be happier if it was empty and didn't have that crack. So because of that, we have to leave him. No cracked goods, no cracked goods. Got this beautiful deer, who makes you? Masterpiece Porcelain by Homeco, $14.99. And what are you, little bird? Oh, you're, you're only 35 cents, <laughs> you came from Dollar Tree. But I know a little girl that would love you to pieces. All right. Well, let's see. This is a cut to clear, but it's flashed. It's flashed glass, and I don't like flashed. It's made in China. A little, little bunny. It's pretty. I think this was here the last time I was here. That one's been here a while. What is going on with this little... It's like one of those things that was meant to have um, a rose in it and they have made it rocks, which is interesting. It's interesting. Always interesting to see how things get repurposed. That is Esk Candle Globes, Northern Lights Candles. Look how gorgeous that is. That's only a dollar. That's only a dollar, but is that damage? Ooh. It's like some fading, it's like some moisture might have gotten into the glass there. Okay, we're gonna leave it. That's too bad. That's a candle. No candles today. All right. Let's see who does this anagram trinket box, but it is chipped. Um, collector plates. Got a whole bin of shells. Oh, I wonder if Rachel would like a silver piggy bank. I kind of want to wait and let her pick it out herself, though. I think that will be part of the fun for her is finding her own piggy bank. That looks like part of a fairy lamp type candle. What is, oh, somebody just placed that on there. There's a couple of those candle tops here without a base. And 
What are you, little fish? You look like something that Party Light would have done. How adorable is that? Wish there was more. So we'll leave that one. This is a porcelain flower frog, it looks like, or a, or maybe it's um like a diffuser or scent. Something like that. Again, lots of clear glass, but nothing for us to pick up today. Those are all carts of stuff coming out right now. So we're gonna keep an eye on that. $3.99 for this kind of fantastic camel candle holder right here. I wish he had a buddy, but we will take him for $3.99. And I see some other stuff. Oh, it's a little bird. Little laser art bird for $0.99. Cents. Um, yeah, yeah, we'll grab the little bird. All right, let's check out all this little birdage here. $5.99? Why? Why are you $5.99? We can't do, we can't pay $5.99 for you. $3.99 for the little bird whistle. We can do that. And then this is a salt and pepper and they're priced individually, individually for $5.99, which kind of makes no sense. So I guess we're just getting our little bird whistle. Okay, I see a pug with wings, but he's not really well done. Not really well done. This is an interesting piece. I'm a souvenir piece though. Let's see who does you. Oh, you're a Yamada Originals, a Lepton. You're a Lepton. $7.99. A little more than I would like to pay. Cute bird. This is pretty. It's missing its stopper but it's got some inlaid silver on there. They are asking $10 on that one. Yeah, I don't think I feel $10 worth on that. Let's look at the lions. Oh, broken music box. All right, all right, let's look down here. Let's see what we got. We got a tea. I guess we just got a tea for our bookend. And that is it on these shelves. Okay, I ran into one of my viewers and um, she found this absolutely fantastic mug. Can you guys guess what this is? This is a trademarked color. There's your first clue. Ah, Tiffany and Company. Look at that, guys. Search those mugs. There's treasures. All right. Let's grab. So this is, this is one of my viewers like stuff. Like she found all this awesome stuff already. So see, she listened to me and she came in the morning when they had just freshly restocked the shelves. There you go. There's stuff out here, guys. You just gotta hunt for it. This is just a uh, neat, I think this is rhyolite. I think that's a piece of rhyolite. It's a decorative piece. These almost look like they would glow, don't they? But they're painted. They're not the actual custard glass. Could fool somebody though. All right. So obviously this store is not feeling the pinch. There are some things that most people would look at and go, that is not exciting at all. I found this tub for 20 bucks. And let me tell you, this right here is for my tortoise soakings. This just solved a huge problem that I was gonna have. So grabbing this for 20 bucks and hoping it fits in my car with the kids. All right, now we are over in kind of their uh, office wares kind of stuff. I look for vintage things in here or things I need for my own office supplies, but I'm not seeing much today. And over here we have the bathroom stuff and some cool stuff can get, get kind of 
mixed into the bathroom stuff over here. Not seeing too much today, but you never know. You never know. Who knows? Maybe a glassy baby will show up one day. That would be really fun. Mm. All right. All right. We'll keep looking. Just to show you that you never know what you're going to find where. This all look like tools and guy stuff and housewares. And then in here is this really cool tile by P. Lane VR. VR? VR? Or Vias? Maybe. Something like that. Or Diaz. Maybe it's Diaz. There we go. Uh, there are only two lasting gifts we can give our children. One is roots. The other is wings. I kind of love this. Hand-drawn wall tile. Not for hot pads. From the Enchanted Realm. For $3.99. I'm going to grab that. Okay. What do you think? Would Peanut wear it? Would she wear the flamingo costume? I kind of think she would. Oh... I don't know if I should do this to her. Or maybe Daisy will wear this one. I don't know if that's damaged. It's still got its tag. It's only $5. I, I kind of have to get the flamingo costume. I'm getting the dinosaur costume for Ozzy too. Oh, maybe I'm not because that's a little, ooh, that's a little gross. Okay, never mind. Never mind. All right, let's see. What is this? Oh, it's one of those slicer-dicer kind of a things. All right, these guys are super cute. I think they're just figurines. They're made in China. I don't know, $7.99. A little more than I would want to be on them. But they are cute. Uh, oh, we know. Oh, we know wine tags. That's what those are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so much stuff that's like still in its original packaging. Always amazes me how much stuff we get that we don't use. Ooh, I see a Tupperware pickle saver without the top. Darn it. And it's six bucks. If it wasn't six bucks, I'd probably still pick it up and search for a top, but yeah, can't pay six bucks for just a part of it. Oh, look, here's what I was thinking of the other day when I asked, hey, doesn't that colander come with a top? But what I was thinking of was this piece, and it's not on the colander, it's on um, the actual bowl. But I do kind of love this. Uh, it doesn't rust like the metal graters that we use, and I bet Noah would really love to use this for grating. All right, well, the plastics were better than usual to me today. All right, so much clear glass stuff. Goodness, goodness, goodness. Lots of um, these little jars. A lot of people use those for stuff. is Anchor Hawking. Very dishwasher worn. I really wish people wouldn't put that stuff in the dishwasher. It's so sad what it does to it. It was just, I mean, that stuff was invented before dishwashers were invented. So it really was not meant for dishwashers. It just wasn't. Oh, it's kind of a cute canister. $9.99. See what are you behind there? Heartfelt wishes sweet things in life. Are you somebody? Nope. Nope, you are not. We got some more of the Le Creuset wannabes. Yeah, this is Blue Harbor. Oh, that's a big heavy piece. That is De Silva. Don't know that brand either. 
very big and heavy and something I don't want to deal with right now. What are you? What is that, guys? Would that... Would it... I don't know what that would hold. I'm a little... I'm a little puzzled. A little puzzled. And let's see... What else we got here? Got some little egg salt and peppers missing their stops. That's a cool pan. Look at that. It makes you. It is not marked as to who makes it. The handle is a little on the wobbly side and I'm not sure if that's the type that'll tighten up. So we're gonna go ahead and leave that, but it is cool. All right, let's hit the mugs. Gosh, she found one Tiffany mug. Maybe they brought out another one since she shopped. Wouldn't that be cool? You know what I would do? I would probably go take it over to her because she's still here checking out. Iron Horse Saloon. Wild and free, that's kind of cool. Cool motorcycle mug. Alright, nothing, 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 nothing in the mugs right now. I learned to not discount just plain white if there's something interesting about it, like those Wedgwood mugs that I found at the estate sale. I had no idea they'd be worth that kind of money. And if you haven't seen that video, you should go back and watch because it was pretty ridiculous how much cool stuff we found. These are pure one, and there's two of them. I wonder if there was more. Hmm, it probably was. It probably came in a set of four, but they are only 75 cents each now because the orange tags are 50% off. So I'm gonna grab those. Gotta stay away from the Norman Rockwell. Ugh, just doesn't do much. Oh, this is still here. Hmm, this was, it's either still here or, yeah, no, it's still here because it's orange tag, which means it's only $3. What is it? Because I thought the one that I had found before actually had the name on it. And this one doesn't have the name on it. It's, uh, it's $3. Very Art Deco. I'm going to grab it. All right, let's see what we got in the glasses. This is a uh, Ponderosa Ranch glass mug, 22 karat gold by Culver. $3.99. We're going to grab that. And then I was noticing this little tequila shot set with the little glasses and the wood holder. Um, Carrie has a little area in her booth that has some tequila decanters and I just think this would be super cute for her to add over there and give it a little extra zing so I'm gonna pick that one up for Carrie all right we're not doing too shabby at this store gives me hope I was getting a little worried last week but I'm I'm gonna hang on to hope and that there are people donating and now it's just a matter of finding out where it's going. Obviously this store is getting some. Let's see what these glasses are. It looks like they are all priced individually $4 each, so we can't do that. They are pretty though. Oh, look at this, another little um, tequila shot glass. It's got the little glass uh, agave plant in there for $1.99. We're going to grab that one. Oh look, this guy is separated from his friends. Now there are six of them. Oh, I see something that says made in Italy. Can I get it? I can. Let me get a good hold of it. Why is something so awesome only have one 
Now it did come from like a home goods, so it's not a super fantastic by itself item. So I think I'm gonna leave it, but it is pretty. I wish there was two, but there are not two. There is only one that I can find, but look how many of these they have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's nine of what I think is these Pier 1 swirl, blue swirl glasses. They're $2 each. So a set of four is going to cost me $8, but I think I'm okay with that because these do sell for really good money. So there are two different sizes. Those were the martini glasses, and then there's four of the uh, margarita glasses, and these are $2.99 each, but I'm still okay with that. We're just going to peek down here because there was only five of the martinis, so I'm hoping there's a straggler down here somewhere, but I don't think so. All right, this store, I really love the way they put their teacups and saucers together with rubber bands, and then they're displayed really nicely on the shelf. Makes shopping so easy when they do that. Got their platters together here. It takes a really, really special platter for me to... Uh, pick it up but I look at everything I do look at everything like, these are interesting so I want to see who makes them and of course they're not marked so I don't know who makes them so they just remain a mystery interesting item to me until I maybe go home and I'll do a quick search while I'm editing this video and see if anything comes up We've got some Williams Sonoma Culinary Herbs. Williams Sonoma is another really good brand that often gets overlooked. Uh, so these bowls, there's two of them. It's $3.99 for these two bowls. We will grab those. There's one, two, three. Okay, they've got them separated. So three plates for $5.99 and four plates for $7.99, so it's like $2 a plate. We're gonna grab those too. And let's see, these are really nice with the bamboo. It's Noritake, I believe. Yeah, Noritake Canton. Why do I feel like that's a really good pattern? It is a good pattern, not good enough for me to pick it up though, but it, this is a really good regular selling pattern. So if you run into this, you can pick it up and make some money on it. It's the uh, Noritake Canton with the bamboo. Those are Gibson. I see feet. I just see feet up there. Who are you? Oh, you're a little chef guy. We don't know who makes you though. All right, I think that's it for the bowls and the plates. This is the store that I found some really amazing pillows at last time I was, whoop. I got this piece of art too. Since it's falling out of my cart, I might as well show you. It's on board, it's jellyfish. It originally came from Hobby Lobby. It is $7.99 and now I need to put it actually in the cart. Now let's look at these pillows. These look like bougie expensive pillows right here. Let's see if we can find a name anywhere. I don't. I don't see a name. They're six dollars each and I like that there's a, a pair even though they're not the same shape. They're super clean. Oh wait, this one has a tag. They're better homes and garden. Okay, I don't think that's a super high-end brand in pillows, so I'm going to leave those, but they are pretty. All right, let's look through their lamps. Look at, look how many lamps they have. They're, they're pretty stocked to the gills. So I wonder what happens where this store is not sharing with the other stores that are light on inventory. It's got something interesting going on with that. Look at this little guy. Okay, not all clowns are bad. He is old. And he is five dollars. I bet I can find him a good home. All right, last but not least, we need to look through the art. That's an interesting little shadow box. Hmm, cleaning and scrubbing can wait till tomorrow, but babies grow up. We have learned to our sorrow. 
So quiet down cobwebs, dust go to sleep. I'm rocking my baby and babies don't keep. And then it's got just some cute stuff. $7.99 though. I'm gonna leave that one. Let's see. It's an interesting, almost looks like a postcard in there. Hmm. I love the frames on these two photographs. And it looks like it's shot out of some castle, but the photos themselves are scratched up. So that's why I'm leaving those. This is interesting. It's a textile. Oh, look, there's another old photo. That looked like it was taken out at the museum that we have out here. looks like a little amateur piece. Pretty colors. Nicely done. It is older, but it's more like a student piece. Look how sweet that is. Hmm. Forget what the name of this kind of art is. Maybe somebody can help me. It's paper and it's kind of like embossed. And you know what? For a buck, I'm going to get that and put it in one of my live sales. Then I spotted this. She's gorgeous. Oh, she's half price too. Only $2. I forget what you call this. Is it, um, why do I want to say marcasite? Is that right? Am I saying it right? It's really beautiful. That looks vintage with the Orioles out in the fields. It's a print. It's an old print though. $6.99. The artist is Armstrong, D. Armstrong, and it looks like 1969. Wowza, that's pretty striking. I'm gonna grab that. All right, well, it looks like it is our day for finding some art. Maybe these shells are cool, but I don't, I don't have any more room in the bathroom for art. See what's hiding back here. Ooh, you are meant for big things. We all are. We are all meant for big things. You just gotta make them happen. Make them happen. All right. There you go. Let's put Jesus front and center. There we go. Put you guys right next to each other. Haha, <laughs> I do kind of like that. That is cute. I like that. I helped her make a buying decision. Ooh, it's another one of my stone frames. This one is only $2. I do really good with these. I'm going to grab that. All right, I've got one more spot down here before the big art. That's a foil print with a ship. I just can't get into the foil prints. I just, I personally just don't really care for them. And they would, they would sit in my need to do pile because I don't want to deal with them. That's kind of like the thing. All right, I think we're going to move along. So I'm kind of hoping, uh, that that jellyfish has a friend here. So I'm skimming through here real quick to look for the same board and I'm not seeing it. So he probably came in alone, but it was worth looking. Okay, here's my little cart full. Not too bad. I did go ahead and leave these guys in here. If nothing else, I know people who would love those as giveaways. So, and I did find a couple pillows to add to my couch. So pretty happy with this uh, cart full of stuff.
that dispelled any thoughts that there is not stuff being donated because this store is doing just fine. Uh, I, that carts and carts full of stuff that one of my viewers found shows that there is plenty of stuff and my cart was full and many other people I looked around their carts were full and the shelves were still full so not sure what's going on at the other Goodwills but there's still plenty of stuff out there and uh, I guess we'll have to put this one on the regular path because it gets a lot of stuff uh, it's also really fun running into you guys while I'm out shopping never be afraid to you know say hi I'm I'm just I'm just a person I'm just a person and I'm happy to meet you and learn how your business is doing out there okay I'm off to pick up my children and uh, go finishing the editing of the rest of the yard sale footage that you've seen by now because uh, I'm filming this after that would have been edited yeah I get so confused sometimes anyway uh, go back and watch that it was epic it was amazing <sighs> I, it was, I'm really enjoying yard sale season, uh, shopping with Noah and Rachel when she wants to come, but she's been a little shy lately. So with that, I'm out of here. You go be profitable and make it fun. We'll see you on the next one.